Last week I did kind of like a video about dating and uh, you guys liked it. I've learned that you really don't give a shit about sketches and comedy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this shit, I guess. But here recently I've been getting a lot of questions about my sobriety, like, why are you sober? How did you get sober? What made you wanna get sober? What's it like being sober? Look, I don't wanna get into detail, but uh, my health was why I got sober, basically. May 17th, I'll be coming up on two years sober, so go me. It's also the release of my debut album titled Sober. How did I do it? It was hard. At first I was just gonna quit for a couple of weeks, then it turned into months, then it turned into a year, and it turned into what will soon be two years. I went to AA meetings at first, uh, and they were fucking awful. AA meetings were so weird. For example, I was at this AA meeting, and there was a couple sitting across from me, a savage alcoholics. Granted, I was fucking bad, but these people, insane. All they did was crack this fake smile and stare at each other and talk about how they love being sober because they're no longer at each other's throats every night, breaking objects over each other's heads, checking each other's phones for infidelity. At one point, the girl actually held up her hand and there was like a bruise here and she was like, without drinking, Gary can't do this to me anymore, am I right? <laughs> oh, uh, that's a little dark, Wendy. Also, Gary. Fuck you. But even worse than that, the guy next to me, he leans over and he whispers to me, you're probably tired of waking up next to a bucket of lotion. Like, when am I gonna find the one? Um, no, Cletus, that's not why I'm here. Well, at least the bucket part isn't true. It was just, it was just a bottle of lotion. So needless to say, I hated AA meetings. They made me want to drink so fucking much. I stopped going to bars for a while just because I didn't want to be in that atmosphere, okay? It was just not my thing. I couldn't do it. I don't know if anybody's ever been to a bar sober, but it fucking sucks. For me, anyway. I know you're probably going to say, I've been to a bar sober. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, this is my fucking video, so shut up. One of the worst uh, people at a bar while you're sober is what I like to call the shot pusher. Now this is an individual that is well aware that you're a recovering alcoholic, but for some reason when he or she gets drunk, they feel the need to come up to you and say, I just do one shot. It's just gonna be one shot. It's like a little baby shot. It's like, you just do one little, it's like a baby shot. It's like guy won't even know. I don't want to do a fucking shot, okay? And then there's the girl that knows you're sober. So she tries to use you as like a sober test before she goes driving. Hey, so you're so, so you're good? Hey, so, hey, so, hey, Jeff. Hey, so you're, hey, so you're good? Hey, so you're good, right? Yeah, yeah, sweetheart, I'm fine. You're the one that just crushed three strawberries and six shots of tequila. Look, look, look at me, look at me. I'm totally, I'm okay to drive, right? I'm good, right? I'm okay, right? I'm okay to drive, right? I'm good, right? If you want me to be honest, I wouldn't put you on a fucking bicycle right now. Guessing her dream scenario is for me to be like, listen, sweetheart, I'm sober. And as a sober guy, I can tell you, you're good to go. Not gonna fucking do it. Then of course, there's the guy who thinks he's your fucking best friend. I'm so fucking glad you're here that you're my best friend. We just fucking met. I love when people appreciate and they're proud of me for my sobriety, but I can do with a little less of this guy. Honestly, dude, I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. I don't know how you do it. I, I could never do it in sports and game. And, I, and never, I'm so proud. Thank you for that. For some reason, there's always like a bartender who's just like really snooty and like has to have an attitude. I'll just take a water. I always like say some corny cliche shit just so they know why I'm drinking water. And I shouldn't have to. Water should be good enough. But I'll always be like, hey, can I get a water? I'm driving. I like the third water the bartender's like. Are you sure you don't want like a margarita or like a beer, or, like a Red Bull vodka? Well, I feel like I fucking said I was driving earlier, but I guess they skipped that lesson in bartending school. I have like a 30 minute expiration when I go out to bars. I'm there for like 30 minutes. People start drinking, having a good time. Then when they get drunk enough to not notice when I leave, I pull the old Irish dip. That's when you basically leave without saying goodbye to anyone. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I don't really plan these out, so I really don't have much more to go on. A lot of people in my Snapchat were asking questions about my sobriety, so I just wanted to go ahead and give them a shout out. Oh, shout out to Carly and Aaron for these dope ass t shirts. I think you could find them at carlyandaaron.com, probably. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video where I'm just talking to this fucking camera.